Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new Roblox tutorial here. This Roblox tutorial I'm going to be showing you is how to make a teleport GUI in Roblox tutorial, Roblox studio I meant, sorry for that. Now this is really easy, really simple to do. For, further all, let's get into it. First, we're going to go to our home models and you're going to click on part, the little square, uh, little square uh, picture. Now. It's going to leave you with this brick. I'm just going to name this part. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it teleporter, but I'm just going to name it a point. There we go. So now we made it into the point. Now we're going to select this brick, go to models, and click on this move button. And we're just going to like make this a little bit high, but not too high. Make this a little bit higher. There we go. So now, once we did that, we're going to select our brick again. We're going to go to, we're going to scroll down to our properties, go to behavior, select anchored, and set can collide to false because we want players to go through the brick. So now, once you finish with that, you're going to go to scroll down to start a GUI. You're going to click on this plus sign and click screen GUI. Once you've done that, you're going to click another plus sign and screen GUI. Click text click text button text box sorry oh actually no 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 sorry 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 not text box you need to click a button that's supposed to be actually you know what text button there we go so now once we have our text button here i'm going to fast forward it and i'm just going to customize my teleporter uh button so fast forward please Alrighty guys, so I have got my teleporter button uh, finished up, ready to use. So now, once you, once you finish your teleport button, I'm going to select our teleport button right here. We're going to click on plus sign. We're going to click the plus sign. And we're going to search up a local script. There we go. So now we have our local script. We're just going to say script.parent. Dot mouse button one click that means if this is the if this is clicked if the button's clicked we're gonna connect a function now we're gonna do game dot players we're gonna need to bring all the players not all the players we need to bring the player that have clicked this button local player dot care character dot torso dot c frame equals a c frame dot new that's that's on the workspace dot point so right here um my brick my teleporter brick is name point so whatever you have to put your what your name your brick what your name your brick goes right here so point dot position there we go so now I'm going to go ahead and now I have made a mistake, but I want to show you why did I make this mistake. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and test this out really quick. So as you guys can see, I have loaded in the game. There's our brick. Uh, it's anchored, so uh, it stays in the sky. You can make it transparent if you want. We made the can't collect to fall, so you could go through the brick. But as we click teleport, as you guys can see, it's not working. Now, here is the reason why it's not working. It's because of your R6 and R15. If your character does have an R6, if you're using an R6 uh, Roblox character, you need to use Torso. But, I'm using an R15 uh, character. You're probably wondering, how do I fix this? Well, go to Torso, change it to Lower Torso. torso. And if we go ahead, and if we click this, as you guys can see, I'm in R15 mode. And if I click teleport, uh-oh, something is not wrong here. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I spelled character wrong. Let me check. All right. Let's go ahead and test this out real quick. 
Ah, there we go. Sorry guys, I spelled character wrong. Now I fix it. So, I am R15 mode right here. If you go ahead and click this teleport button right here, as you guys can see, we have teleported into this brick. It's really simple, really easy to do. Now, the confusing part about this scripting is about the R6 and R15. If you know players are using R15, use lower torso. If a player is using R6, take out the lower and just leave torso there. If they're if you're using an R6, if you're using R15, you put lower in here. So now, yeah, that's basically it. Also, if you guys want to know how to make this uh, invisible, click this point button. Go about go down to appearance. Click transpeed. And we're gonna change it to one. That's how you make it. That's how you make it invisible, so players won't notice it. You can click that teleporter, and they're going to spawn, like without the brick. They're gonna, they're, they're still gonna spawn, though, but they're just not gonna see the brick. Like an example, see, I don't see the brick, but if I click teleport, there we go. I'm spawning in the brick, but I can't see it. So that's how you make a brick, uh, invisible. So yeah. Hope this, uh, I hope this helps you for your new future Roblox game. If you do enjoy this video, why not hit the like button or even consider to subscribe. So, for that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.